Um, morning, everyone. My name is Jay Feng from uh, Columbia University, and this is a collaboration with Adobe Research. So in this work, we look at the problem of interactive segmentation using both color and the depth images. By investigating different foreground and background case relations in different real-world images, uh, we found that it is sufficient to use only one cue to infer the segmentation label for each pixel locally, which also gave us higher discrimination between uh, different cues. So we proposed a cue selection framework for interactive segmentation, and our method not only produces segmentation map, but also a cue map, which uh, interprets how different cues work together during the process. And uh, the extensive experiments show that our method can uh, sufficiently uh, effectively reduce the amount of user input and at the same time increase accuracy. So basically we try to predict a label pair for each pixel which contains segmentation label and the Q label. Uh, we formulate it as a multi-label Markov random field uh, for the optimization which can be solved with alphabet swap algorithm. So for the unit return, uh, we basically compute a probabilistic confidence map based on uh, geodesic distance for each, each Q. And for pairwise term, we define a uni uh, unified cost uh, to deal with cases where nearby pixels have the same Q label or different Q labels. So when the Q Qs are the same, uh, it reduces to the standard uh, single Q pairwise term, which encourages label smoothness. And when the Qs are different, uh, we basically choose the smallest cost, which is essentially the most discriminative Q. So uh, the experiments we did is on five large RGBD datasets, which are captured by Connect V1 and V2, and the intersection over union was used as a metric. To evaluate the accuracy, we compute skeleton points from uh, foreground and background regions based on the uh, ground truth mask, and we input that to uh, different segmentation methods. And by looking at the table, it's obvious that our method uh, is able to achieve uh, averagely 10% inc improvement uh, over other RGB method and uh, about 3 to 5% uh, over other RGBD method. So to measure the user effort, we develop an algorithm to automatically place foreground and background clicks uh, based on the current segmentation result. And uh, uh, it's obvious that uh, we're able to kind of get the reasonably good segmentation, but with much fewer clicks. And these are some uh, example segmentation results. In the third column, you can see a right contour, which shows the segmentation. And in the fourth column, which is the color-coded Q map, uh, tells you how different cues are contributing to the final results.